if you got five pounds and your kid's skin and bones and you're like, well, you got to get the, you know, 32 pounds. Come on, you got to get that. Your kid's going to dwindle and you could do some harm. So just in the long run, I wish I knew now, you know, back then, what I know now, it would have been totally different from my wrestling. I would have stayed up on a weight class. But instead, I sucked down thinking I'm going to be stronger and better than these other guys. And it didn't work out that way. It turns out that the kids that aren't sucking weight, they're strong waiting for you. Okay? They may be young, but I'd rather be stronger and fit and ready to go and have the energy and be up one weight class. Who cares? By the time he gets in high school, he's going to have it all mastered anyway. It's not going to matter. Start him now. It makes a huge difference in their, in their wrestling. It really does. And hopefully your little kids can notice that. Some of them aren't going until they get into high school or 7th and 8th grade. They'll catch on to it. But if you do it, you'll know by this really works. You need to follow this and you can help them with it as you go along. Okay? Food item that's rich in carbohydrates, moderate in protein. Low in saturated fat is an efficient food item that you can have. Regular dinner, if you're having a nice dinner for your kids, if you're having a nice dinner, two to three hours before practice, you're okay. Perfect. If it's right before a match, you want to have something 30 to 60 minutes before a match or before practice, something in this range, okay? You want something in this range. You got, again, I was going over these bars. This is closer to a match. They can have on their way to the match, they can eat that. All right, the power bars, that's the way. 1,400 and 2,000 calories. If you read any Dan Gable, you know that wrestler, if you read any of his stuff, he's always keen on wrestlers at least having 1,500 calories for people that are sucking weight. So this is even over that. So this is definitely ideal for any little kid. All they do is follow it. You don't have to count calories, you just follow it and eat healthier. That's what you want your kids to do. So you don't have to worry about calories. Mom and dad, uh, the fathers, you're going to be on the protein list. If you look on this blue area, protein, it says male. That's the amount volume you will take versus the female version. So the calories are the same except for the protein sources for men and women. As far as your kids go, I'm going to keep the children on the mom's protein levels for right now until they get a little older, okay? So you, the, the, your little kids need the amount of protein that mom's getting on this. All right, makes sense? As your phones. Now, let's just take first meal breakfast. You can easily ask your kid, oh, what are you having for breakfast on there? You need one of the things from the protein list and they'll tell you what they want. And they start having fun with this thing. But if you go to the proteins list, up here it says breakfast, one serving of protein. You need adequate amounts of protein, but we know we don't need mega amounts, so it's not a lot. Go down to that list and have any one of those amounts. That's your protein source for the morning. So if you had cereal, your skim milk is your protein source. Right? What happens if you don't eat breakfast? You better start. Okay, yep. Now, you, okay, so you pick out what you have. We just said we had the, uh, skim milk because we're going to have cereal. Then it says here, one serving of fruit. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to have... Um, it can be raisin bran, or you can put strawberries in your, or banana, you can slice a banana in your syrup. You don't have to have it with it, but you can. Or you can save that for later. You can bank it for later. You don't have to have it right away. carbohydrates. So you go down to the cereal portion. Um, in the complex carbohydrates, we're asking for two complex. And basically, uh, do I have one cup of dry cereal. That's one medium bowl. Believe it or not, this is a serving of cereal. When you have a bowl of cereal, it's nothing like this. Okay, that's the amount of cereal in a serving. You know one of those little boxes? Hold on, Spence. One of those little boxes? Yeah. That's a serving. And when you pour that in a bowl, you're like, man, I need 10 of those. So you're really, you're upping your calories in that. So if you watch your calories, again, that's a serving of cereal right here. That's a simple serving. That's a calorie diet. For females, it's about 1,400, but don't really worry about it. Just kind of follow it as close as you can, and you'll lose inches like that without having to worry about weight. Just don't even worry about counting calories too much. You follow <laughs> as close as you can. For some of you that just can't, don't want to follow something like that, there's a quick start menu in there. Just follow that quick start menu in there. Just eat what's on that. I guarantee you lose 10 pounds in three months. Okay? Now, it says down here, a snack, 100 calories. Whatever you want it to be, 100 calories. A glass of wine, a beer. Um, if you're having a bagel, bagels are 400 calories. Don't get done with a bagel. Three days to digest. Takes a long time. Bagels are just a lot of calories. I like them and they're good, but... They take a while and they're just very caloric. You could have four baked potatoes or you could have a bagel for serving that you're seeing on that thing. This is nothing. You go to a restaurant, you'll send it back. Like, what are you giving me this? Right? That's the amount of protein you really need. I mean, our kids are still growing and you're active. You need a little bit more protein, but not mega amounts. The RDA is like 0.36 times your body weight. 0.36 times your body weight is all the protein you need. For some of the biggest guys in here, that's like 80 grams of protein. You have that in sitting in one meal. So you're OD, ODing the protein, and we know what overdosing the protein does. Eventually, it can harm you if you do it for 30 years. 
quick energy okay. and long-lasting energy. It's not a quick high like you had a Snickers bar. It's a big boom. All right? And unfortunately, at wrestling tournaments, we all know, there's pizza, there's subs, there's pancakes in the morning. There's a lot of bad things for kids available at there, and that's what your kids go for. So you need to kind of prep them and get them going this, and they'll take that right to a tournament. It makes a huge difference, okay? You have these trail mix bars. Again, there's different um, fiber one bars, there's peanut butter ones, whatever ones uh, you like. Um, they're not bad. The kids are actually like them. And then uh, just different types of peanut butter uh, bar. Now, if you're allergic to peanut butter, you got to read all these labels because a lot of them are made from the machines that made other bars and had peanuts on them. So sometimes the residue gets in on these things and you get peanuts on it. So well, let's avoid. go with two cups of vegetables. Let's have broccoli and carrots. But I'm asking for two cups of vegetables down here also. So we got two cups. So we got this, a chicken breast. So we're going with this. This, a chicken breast. Now we have our pasta. Let's just say this is the pasta in there. Okay? Now we still have that one complex carbohydrate. Let's throw in a baked potato. So now we got a baked potato. Okay? And we got two cups of vegetables. Now what about the snacks that I might have brought over here? I can even add more on, on top of that. I can have double the pasta. Because I left my snack out. Guess what? I can have more. Look at all this food. This. All right? Or you just go and you pound this and you just finish yourself off. Why? Now you're hungry later. You just killed yourself. You can eat so much more food when you pick and choose. And that's what this is. You have to get your kids' wrestlers to find the foods that are high in volume.